Hello fashion lovers and welcome to the fashion den Stylista Moda. In today's video we will be learning about the basic pants block. So let's start with basic pant block. So for this we are making this for the 18 years and scale would be 1 inch is equal to 4 inches. Standard measurement that we are requiring is the full length 40 inches, the hip length 8 inch, crotch length 12.5 inches crotch length 12.5 inches and uh, your all round waist is 26 inches all round hips is 36 inches and bottom is 16 inches so let's start with the process so friends the process we are going to create with the basic pant blocks is the most easiest way i ever discovered for this process and uh, if you will see this and if you'll compare, if you know to draw the basic pant block, you'll compare that this is the most easiest way to uh, draft a basic pant blocks. Otherwise, it is very difficult. So let's start with the process. So for that, first we have to create a block A, B, C, D. This is the block A, B. C and D is equal to thirty eight point five inches. Why it is because full length that means the pant length of the pant minus one point five inch for the belt. So this is the measurement of A B and A C is equal to nineteen inches. Why it is? Because half of the all round hips plus 1 inch. Half of the all round hip that means 36 divided by 2 is 18 plus 1 is equal to 19 inches. So this is the block ABCD. Now what we have to do? We have to mark a point E as AE is equal to 9 inches that means half of AC minus half inch half of AC that means 20 uh, sorry 19 min divided by 2 is 9.5 minus half inch is equal to 9 inches right in the same way we have to mark a point E dash and we have to join E to E dash this is the process of paper division that we are doing right now because after dividing the paper in a proper way it would be very easy for you to understand or to give the shape it to the pant block right so this is line e e dash we have created so now this is divided into two part one is nine inches and one is ten inches now what we'll do we'll mark a point f as AF is equal to half of AE. This is the crease line, half of AE. Then in the same way, we'll mark the point AF. Oh, sorry, F dash. So in the same way, we'll define the midpoint of line CE and we'll mark the point G. These are the crease line of front and back. Now the division you are looking at your left side is front and the right side is back. So we have to join these lines. This would be the crease lines and this will help us to get the proper measurements, other measurements and the shape of the pant block. Same here also, we will just join G to G dash till now I hope you are finding it easy this is done right so now what we'll do we'll divide the paper by horizontally so first I am taking a point of H which is as a H is equal to 6.5 inches Why? that is 
सीट लेंथ और द हिप लेंथ माइनस वन एंड ए हाफ इंच फॉर द बेल्ट एट इंच इज द सीट लेंथ एंड माइनस वन पॉइंट फाइव दैट मीन्स सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव राइट सेम हेयर विल बी मार्किंग एच डैश एंड विल ज्वाइन एच टू एच डैश लाइक दिस सिंपली Now we'll mark a point I as A I is equal to eleven inches. That means crotch length. That is twelve point five minus one and a half inches. One point five inches minus. So it will be twelve inches. Twelve point five minus half is eleven inches. Same will be marking I dash, and we'll join I to. I dash. Simply like this. So this is done. Now we'll extend the point I to J as I J is equal to four five four point five inch. That means is equal to A F. Whatever the length of A F is, you just have to extend the Point I to J in the same way. This is J. On the other side, we'll extend the point I dash to J dash as I dash J dash is equal to the point C G. This is equal to point C G. And now we'll just Square out a line. It is optional. If you want to square out, you can. If you don't want to, you even may. Minus one fourth inch. This one fourth inch I am subtracting just because of the shape of front and back. So one fourth inch we have to subtract from the one fourth of the waist. For the front we will be subtracting it, and for front we will be add, or for back it we will be adding it. Plus half inch for the dart, and plus one fourth inch for the ease. Right. So. It will be seven inches. Twenty-six divided by four minus one fourth plus half plus one fourth. So it will be 
all together it will come with the 7 inches. In the same way, we will be marking a point L dash as C L dash is equal to one fourth of the all round waist same plus one fourth inch right here we have subtracted now we have added plus one inch for the dart plus one fourth inch for the ease plus three fourth inch for the shape because when we create the crotch shape of back so it is always deeper than the front. So we are adding 3 fourth inch for that which will will be subtracting later on which will be marking later on. So it will be 8.75 inches. When you will calculate it, it will be 8.75 inches. So we will mark 8.75 inches as L dash. We just have to point up O at the intersection of H, H dash and the middle line and we have to just join L to O and L dash to O. With a straight line and later on we can give the curve to it for the hip shape. This is as the shape is as uh, we have given in the skirt also. You must have remember and now we will join the K and K dash to the hip curve and we will provide the shape to hip curve like this. Here also this you can do with the hip, hip curve that ready mate is available in the market or the french curve or you can do it with your expert hands that's up to you only right so now we have given shape to the hip of the pant now we'll give shape to the crotch okay so for that we will mark a point for that we'll mark a point M at the middle of at the middle of K to I and we'll just give the name this point to M now we'll mark a point N diagonal to the line I 45 degree as we used to do in the case of armhole and it would be of 2 inches would be of 2 inches and now we will just join K M N and I this is the shape of crotch or the leg pit of front. Now for the back we will mark a point P as CP is equal to sorry K dash P is equal to 3 fourth inch. This is the 3 fourth inch which we have added extra and now we will mark a point M dash at the middle of K dash I dash at the middle of k dash i dash and will mark a point n dash on 45 degrees from point i dash of one and a half inches right now what we'll do we'll just add we'll just join the newly created point p to the point m dash right so now we'll give shape to the back crotch 
which is p m dash n dash and j dash now this is the shape of back crotch it is it is deeper than the front because in case of upper we have maximum shapes at the front but in case of lower we have maximum shapes at, at the back so that we need to create the extra uh, you can say we need to create the extra space for the back right so now we'll give shape to the bottom for bottom we have to create for the front 16 by 2 that is 8 inches minus half inch that is 7.5 so on the both side it would be 3.75 3.75 so on the crease line that is ee dash we have to mark a point 3.75 3.75 on the both side that is q and q dash on the both side we have created q and q dash that is 3.75 3.75 and we'll just join these with a straight line like this sometime people do join it from the hips and sometime people do join it from the crotch intersection but it is good to join it from the crotch intersection to give to provide the proper ease to the body we'll just give the shape like this and you can see we have created the front block very easily it has been created this is front and this is the grain line this is off fold the entire all two sides three sides four sides are off fold this is not on fold we have not created any sign for the on fold now we'll create the back bottom eight and a half plus eight plus half divided by two is four point two five so we have to mark it 4.25 on the both side of G and G dash this is the point G and G dash and we'll just join it to the crotch intersection this and this this is the back so this is the pant block that we want to create and now the darts for front dart we have taken a point r on the crease line that is ff dash and on both side we have taken one fourth one fourth one fourth each and take given the shape to the dart in case of back we have to take a point two and a half inch apart from the side corner of the hip length of the dart is four and a half inches and width of the dart is half half inch on the both side just join this join this so this is the pant block belt same as it was in skirts so thank you for watching this video friends and we'll be meeting with the new trends new videos till then bye bye thank you